Crazy Crew and thank you guys for tuning in to another video and as you guys can tell by the title today we are creating this beautiful Valentine's Day look it's a super easy look I only use one palette just a couple of colors so something that is definitely achievable in a good time frame if you're in a rush if you're not in a rush still a really nice and easy glam so if you guys want to see how I got this look then just keep on watching this is going to be another voiceover video it was just a lot easier for me to do that way since my face routine is always the same I just wanted to do a quick and easy eye glam for you guys so that's what we did today so like i said if you guys have not yet subscribed hit that subscribe button down below give this video a thumbs up like share comments all that good stuff show your girl some love and let's get right into the video all right you guys so getting right into it we're going in with the amrezy palette by anastasia beverly hills with a nice fluffy brush we're going to go into the shade semza the shade is a nice like plum color and honestly all the shades in this palette i love them they're so pretty and the names are literally made for me this palette was made for me and i was fiending to get this palette and angel got it for me and i was so happy when he did so we took that semza shade dipped it lightly into the shade and look how pigmented it is i barely dipped it and i got so much color off of it and we're gonna use that as our transition shade for this look we are doing a valentine's day look so it's gonna be majority pinks and just a nice deep colors next we went in with hugo that is like a brown shade and we're taking a smaller fluffy brush putting that into our outer corner and really deepening it up so if you guys see i'm taking that color dabbing it into the outer corner and going in small circles to really fluff out that dark shade on the outer corner and then i'm using my brush and gliding it into the inner corner just to deepen it and give that lid some depth see the separation there just really make it pop and look good just going back in with the fluffy brush that i use with semza just to kind of blend it out so that you don't see too many harsh lines in that and then just going back in with the ugo you go sorry to kind of deepen it up again and just make it look nice and dark doing it with the next eye as well because we did both eyes on camera today i did use the elf for my brows again the elf brow gel and look how good my brows look like i really really love that brow gel it looks so so good going back in we're just taking that fluffy brush with the sems just to blend everything out and make sure everything looks great now we're gonna do a cut crease i haven't done a cut crease in a minute but we're gonna do it and it's gonna look so good you guys are gonna see we took the elf camel concealer just to use as my cut crease and i didn't wipe anything down because one i don't have any makeup remover so i couldn't do it but two i really didn't have a lot of color on my lid so going in we took a flat brush a really fat flat brush to really bring that concealer into the right place so as you guys can see i'm very detailed into not putting it over my eyelid crease there and we're putting it really towards the middle and obviously we're going to do the next eye but you guys see how i'm placing it i'm not dragging it i'm really just kind of get that trying to get that concealer in the right place because i don't want the glitter that i'm going to put on next everywhere i really just want it specific to that area so using that i'm just patting it down just to like i said get it to the right area and now we're gonna go in with the shade cupcake hello that's my name don't wear it out i'm gonna take another flat brush the same um kind of flat brush as the first one and i did spray a little mist on it to get some um the brush a little bit wet so we can get that glitter stuck onto the brush and then put on the eyelid i didn't use glitter glue but of course you can use glitter glue as well i just wanted to wet my brush a little to kind of see how it would work with that and as you guys can see the shade goes really nicely onto the lid you do need to put a couple of layers on it to really get a nice pigmentation but it looks really nice um and it doesn't fall out so that's good what i've noticed with this palette is there is not a lot of fallout except with one specific shade that i use and you guys will see the next shade and i'll, I'll tell you but literally i haven't had any fallout with this palette so i could have done my makeup with my face already done but because i don't know how some eyeshadows are I don't want to do that and have all this fallout on my face and then I have to fix my face up. So what I did next is, as you guys see, I went in with the same brush with the Yugo color, that brown, just to blend out where I ended that cut crease so that everything looks seamless. We don't want harsh lines. We don't want to see that, that line there. We want everything to look good. So I don't think I've added any more on there but of the Yugo shade, but I took whatever was left over just to kind of blend that out there. Next, I took the same brush, the flat brush, and I went on the other side and we went in with the shade Barb. And this is the shade that actually does have fallout because it is more like a pressed glitter the glitter does come down but you see that extra shimmer it gives on the eyes it looks so good and i actually really love this color it just gives it a nice like 
pop and a nice highlight so you can use it as a highlight for your inner corner you can use it as a top shade like i'm using it here i think it has a lot of versatility for the way it can be used you can use it with the glitter glue as well but i just did the spray just to kind of make it easier on myself because i was trying to do a more easier look than normal so we're done with the eyes we're not doing anything else let's see what lashes we're going to choose i had two different types one from amazon and one from kiss i believe and then for mascara i went in with a lamcone mascara i haven't used this one in a while so i, I really didn't know what to expect it was okay it, it did the job that i needed to do and now i'm going to go ahead and put my lashes on and then we're back so now we're going to get prepped into the face i'm using the same skincare i've been using the elf primer the grit primer with the niacinamide the poreless putty primer and the elf moisturizer those are my favorite prepping products and i will forever use them for foundation today i did want to go a little bit more full coverage because i was going to a birthday party and i totally forgot that this milani foundation a little goes a long way so you guys see i'm gonna look like a ghost for a few minutes and i really did that because i had no idea about the the um the product i forgot that little goes a long way i haven't used it in a little while so i go in with a brush a couple times just to kind of get some of it off because i don't like a lot of foundation on my face and as you guys can see there's a lot of foundation on my face i had to go in wipe my lips down because i looked like a ghost and i'm just patting myself away still using that elf blender because i really don't know where my other beauty blender is from elf so i have to use this one because that's all i have and i still am like okay with it i like the portion for the foundation but when it comes to doing the concealer and stuff it's just still a little bit hard for me and you guys will see it's just it's just weird using that sponge for concealer but now my face is in a good place we got a lot of the product off because that was just too much and we're going back in with the concealer the hydrating camo concealer and i'll list everything down below you guys so that you know what i use and the shades as well in case you didn't catch it when i was saying it we're blending in the concealer now with this freaking sponge that i'm just a little over but what i did like about it this time that i noticed as i'm going towards like the end of my eye where the eyeshadow is it does help get a nice like um straight crease there so it's like i used instead of like using a makeup wipe to kind of clean it i just used the concealer and that end of the sponge to kind of really get it clean so that was like one good thing about it but other than that it's just a little weird to use and a little hard to kind of really get into the under eye with this so i would recommend definitely another sponge or brush for the under eye but it did the job so next for con contour we're going in with the huda huda beauty contour Thing. I forgot what it's called but we're going with that that also I knew a little goes a long way with that so I only dip my brush in once and look at all the product that came off with that again I'll list the shade down below because I got, forgot the shade name and the actual product name but it's the Huda um, the Huda contour thing I'm going in with that brush it has a slight angle to it so it really helps to push that contour up and get that contour settled in or even if you use it for foundation or blush it really helps just kind of shape where you want it to go and get it in the right place and I like to use it where my cheekbones are because it has that kind of tilt to it it's really good for applying and really getting that contour in I'm going to go in with my sponge after just to kind of really push it into the skin and this also helps me with the, the fine lines that it has it helps me blend in the lines there so that you don't see you know a difference between the um foundation and the contour next i'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes usually i do this before contour and i forgot but i did like how it looked after the contour so i might do that as well i just took a real techniques brush and press that powder in this is the flower beauty i'm sorry this is the big beauty bakery flower setting powder same setting powder i always use i'm actually running out so i probably only have maybe two or three more looks left to use it which i'm really sad about i think i'm gonna try a different one i've heard the huda i keep saying huda i heard the huda beauty one is really good at the pink shade so i might want to try that one out and see what if you guys have tried that let me know in the comments below how do you like it i have heard a lot of great things about it next we're going in well i thought we were going to go in with the kylie but then i looked at it and i was like you know what it's a little too light so we took the maybelline fit me 
I believe that's the shade Mocha. And we went ahead and did our bronzing just to warm up the face. I did a little overload on the bronzer on that side. But what is beautiful about these beauty blenders is that they really help to move the product when you don't want so much in one area. So I took that and again, blended in my face because I want to make sure that you don't see any harsh lines. I want to make sure that the product is pushed in as much as it can be into the skin and look really good. Today I am going to do a baby bit of baking. So just to carve out that under contour and i literally just wipe it off after that but just to give my face a little more of a cleaner look because like i said i was going to a birthday party that day so i wanted to be a little more snatched and a little more full coverage just a little more glam also because it was a valentine's day look i wanted to be a bit more glam too so now we went in with the kylie blush and we took a just a little fluffy brush to get that um blush on the cheek and I really love this color. I like a blush that's not too pinky. I like one that's more of the, um, like a corally kind of side. But I also think it depends on the type of season because when in the summertime, like I do like to use a more pinky shade because I am a little, little bit darker, not a lot, a little bit darker. And when I use the blush, I always take it across my nose. I don't contour my nose. So I always have to put something on my nose just to kind of get a little color in there so that my nose doesn't look so light compared to everything else. Now we're going to go in with setting spray. This is the e.l.f. Um, setting spray mist. It's really good. It's a dupe for the Urban Decay. Amazing. And I like to put my setting spray before my highlight just to get my face a little wet so the highlight can really grip on it. And as you guys see, we use the Kylie highlighter and a look at that highlight. It looks beautiful, very subtle, but still nice and shiny and just really sits on the skin very nicely. I love this highlighter. It's super, super good. For eyeliner, we're going in with the makeup by mario brightening pencil i love this pencil it's the only pencil i really use for my eyeliner i don't really like black eyeliner depends on the look but majority of the time i like a brightening pencil it just makes my eyes look more wider and i really really love it whereas a black liner would really close my eyes but make my eyes look lighter in general for the waterline, we're going to go in with the Yugo shade and the Semza shade just to, you know, finish up the look, put some mascara on and, you know, call it a day. Then we're going to go next. After this, we're going to do our lips and we're going to get into that. For lips, it really took me a minute to kind of decide what lip liner I wanted to do. At first, I looked at like this mahogany shade, which I thought was more of like a brown color. But then when I put it on my lips, as you guys will see, I was like, no, 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 I don't want that. So <clears throat> I had to kind of dig through my little makeup collection to find my brown because I didn't know where it was at. And there we go. We find it. So we did then did a brown lip liner because I do like a more browner lip and then a nice nudie or pinky middle and gloss as well. I used to love matte lipstick, but now I'm definitely more of a glossy girl and I don't really have any more matte lipsticks like I used to. I used to love the Kylie Cosmetics matte liquid lipstick. I just haven't purchased one in a hot minute, so I don't have those anymore. But I love this lip liner and this lip combo. It looks really good. For lip gloss, we're going in with the Milani lip gloss. And you see it's like a nice nudie color, like a nudie pink. So it really just ties the look all together. And then, of course, I had to add a little bit of my Joey lip gloss just to give a little more pink into it. Um, I wanted just it to be cohesive and just look really, really good. Now we got to fix this head because this hair was looking a hot mess. And now we are done. This is the completed look. Make sure you guys subscribe if you have not already. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.